Now, many of you uh, might be familiar with a particular clip from the movie Gettysburg. In this scene, we've got Richard Jordan playing General Armistead, and we've got Tom Berenger playing uh, General Longstreet. And this is a, a character development scene for General Armistead, where he starts talking about his friendship with General Hancock, who is a Union Army general. So he asks, um, he asks, uh, I was going to say Tom Berenger. He asks Longstreet. Yes, he asks General Berenger. You heard any news of old Winfield, old Winnie boy? And he replies, Hancock. Oh yeah, B's got the Second Corps, and they're going to be attacking us tomorrow. And yeah, you'll see him soon enough. And uh, General Armistead just goes off into melancholy memory lane. He says, "I'd sure like to see him again. I haven't seen him since before the war. Never thought it would last this long." And of course, you got to picture this with the sad, melancholy Gettysburg harmonica going, do, 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 do. Never thought it would last this long. Uh, and he says, the last time I saw him was in California, right when the war was beginning, the night before we all left to go off and fight each other. And he starts going further down into memory lane. And then the scene changes as uh, Longstreet says, hey, why don't you tell me about your core? And he tries to distract him from this melancholy memory. But what Armistead is talking about in the scene, the night before we all left to go fight each other when we were in California, he's talking about a very specific reunion that he had with his best friend and a number of other people who were friends in the army. And we'll get to that in just a moment. But a little bit of context. There are a number of Southern army officers, Southern born army officers and enlisted men who are serving in the United States Army across the Trans Mississippi and the West Coast. One episode of the secession crisis that made a lot of folks uh, across the United States panic, pro-union folks start to panic, is President James Buchanan eliminated the Army's Department of California and Department of Oregon, consolidated them into a single Department of the Pacific, and then put Albert Sidney Johnston, who was a Southerner, in charge of the uh, Department of the Pacific. And that was one of the last things that Buchanan did in office. Um, it seems as if he was helping to set up the southern states to have a military advantage across the continent. Then Johnston was relieved of command. Uh, the uh, Lincoln sent a, a unionist, General Edwin Vo Sumner, to take over the command of the Pacific Department. And then General Sumner had those conspirators arrested, while General Johnston resigned his commission formally. And then he went south to Los Angeles to go hang out at his brother's ranch. At his brother's ranch, there was a party, a big old barbecue and a farewell party with all these different U.S. Army officers, among whom were Louis Armistead and his best friend, Winfield Scott Hancock. So in the movie Gettysburg, this uh, scene of Armistead and Longstreet talking about this one night in California, that's the night that they're talking about. And then something absolutely incredible is about to happen. But I just want to call attention real quick to some of the people in California who are leaving. Um, this was in the early summer of 1861, before people started really flooding in a torrent across San Bernardino and San Diego counties to go join the Confederacy. All 80 members of the militia were in on the plot, but a lot of them got cold feet at the very last minute, so less than half of them ended up making the actual journey. The company commander was the sheriff of Los Angeles, Tomas Sanchez. He did not go on the uh, uh, the journey, but the deputy commander, uh, Alonzo Ridley, who was the undersheriff of Los Angeles, he did go. He was uh, he took the position of company commander while they were escaping across the desert. So the Los Angeles Mounted Rifles' big contribution to the Confederate war effort was they escorted Generals Johnston and Armistead from Los Angeles across Southern California, across the Arizona desert until they uh, safely arrived in Mesilla, which was the capital of Confederate Arizona. The guys who made it to Mesilla, you know, they all shook hands. Um, they disbanded as a group, and then they all went to Texas with General Johnston to go formally join the Confederate Army. A lot 